Uh, hello, this is Colin from Col uh, CPRW Records here. On Friday, we release our first compilation of 2021, which is Hidden Gems 2. The idea of Hidden Gems is to showcase some fantastic new bands that we feel deserve a bigger fan base than what they already have. And the, uh, Hidden Gems 2 features 28 fantastic bands from all over the world. In the run-up to Friday's release, I'm going to be posting four videos talking a little about each band and will hopefully get you, which will hopefully get you excited for the release. But before we start talking about the bands, I want to have a quick word about the charity we're raising money for in this release. As, as you should hopefully know that CPRW Records, every release raises money for a different charity. And this one, all the uh, money raised will go towards Lifeline for Kids. Lifelines for Kids is a UK based charity which raises money to provide equipment for disabled children from like poor and impoverished backgrounds to ensure they have a better quality of life. They uh, get things like wheelchairs and uh, stair lifts for kids, which is, uh, I think is fantastic. They receive absolutely no money from the government and is completely volunteer run. Like they pay all their own expenses and, uh, when they have meetings, they tend to do it at each other's homes. They don't have an office or anything like that. So I think they're a really worthwhile charity which we can try and support. Right, the bands. All right, first up is uh, the Agonizers, who are a four-piece sort of punk ska band from uh, Connecticut and Massachusetts, who formed in 2019. They've given us the song Ancient History, which is an energetic song that will sort of get stuck in your head and can also get you dancing. They have some great layered vocals, which I think are brilliant. Like if you like the Suicide Machines or Rancid when they're most, where they're playing the most sort of scar songs, then you'll love the Agonizers. Uh, next is uh, Candy Lion, who are a free piece from St. Louis, Missouri. They play like a mix of, sort of pop punk, emo and sort of all core music. And I suspect in the next few years, they'll be on the fest lineup in uh, the fest in Gainesville. Like last November, they released their debut album, Bored to Death, and have kindly given us a song, Employee of the Month, which is actually my favourite song on that album, so I'm absolutely over the moon to have that. Yeah, next, there are a band called Crafting Lies, who have been featured on uh, Collins Punk Rock World before, and last year we reviewed their album, Stalk Bite, which is a fantastic little EP. Uh, they uh, come from the uh, punk rock factory known as Canada, obviously we all know Canada, it just relentlessly has uh, has uh, creates, I guess, um, amazing punk bands and um, like really catchy, energetic punk rock with massive choruses. If, like if you like the Penske file, you're gonna love Crafting Lies. Um, turn your piece of paper over. Like next is uh, Flinch, who is which is a solo project for of, of Beth Black, who plays in Glasgow pop punk band Ten AM. It's like if you listen to me talk about music in the last year or so, you. I would probably have told you how good I think 10 a.m. are. Like, best kindly let us use uh, the song Escape from Rutger Farms, which is from their upcoming like debut album, Enough is Enough, which is going to be released in March. This is a lot sadder and sort of softer than what we expect from Beth in, from 10 a.m., but I just think it's absolutely captivating. It reminds me a lot of uh, Landy from Muncie Girls, and I think Muncie Girls are one of the best bands in the UK, so... I think Flinch are just as good as them from what I've heard so far, so I'm looking forward to that. Uh, next is uh, Look It Martians, who are a power pop band from, uh, I think it's pronounced Mannheim in Germany, Mannheim. I, sorry if I'm, that's wrong. Um, as you might expect from power pop band, they're really sort of catchy and just loads of fun. Like uh, Some great harmonies again. Obviously, power pop band's going to have harmonies. Um, we have the song Drunkistan from the EP... Galax uh, from Galaxies Beyond, which was released in December, I discovered looking at Martians from an Instagram page called Punk Rock Radar. I think that's what it's called. I forgot to check. Um, yeah, if you, if you want to discover loads of cool punk bands, that's a uh, Instagram page that's really worth following. Okay, uh, second to last now, the penultimate one is OK Bye, who are a punk rock power couple from Exeter. Uh, this is a band I'm surprised I've not heard any of my punk pals from the west of England talking about. As they're really, really good. Uh, they play like alternative indie punk and talk about a lot of like feminist issues, which is important. Uh, we have the song Bubble, which comes from the band second EP, Personal Hell, which they have just pressed on vinyl. I'll be looking to get that soon. 
Um, next, or lastly today, anyway, we have the Revores, who are a band from Gainesville in Florida. They uh, play like melodic hardcore punk with like, and have, like wonderful ha harmonies as well. Like quite interestingly about them, they, um, their lyrics are a mixture of Spanish and English. Uh, that makes us, I think, made the songs like really interesting to listen to. I don't speak a lick of Spanish, but I just think, it, I think they're brilliant. And um, they've given us a song, Chemicals Man, They'll Fuck You Up, which is a fantastic name for a song. Right, and um, that's the uh, seven bands I'm going to talk about for today. Thank you for watching. I'll be back tomorrow to talk about another seven bands that are on Hidden Gems 2. If you uh, haven't already done so, please like and follow the uh, CPRW Records Facebook and Bandcamp pages to be, I guess, alerted as soon as Hidden Gems 2 is released on Friday. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye.